three things a narcissist cannot stand. Three things they hate. Three things they cannot tolerate. There are a lot of things that narcissists do not like. But in this video, there are three things that I would like to focus on. There are three things that they cannot stand. It provokes certain emotions within them. It makes them very angry. It makes them feel like they need to do something. If you are an empath, you may personalize these situations. You may think that it has something personally to do with you. But when you are dealing with someone who is narcissistic, it has more to do with them than it does to do with you. Because they are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They don't share your experiences. They see themselves as a center of the world where everything flows through them. As though everything has something to do with them. They personalize everything. They identify with things which you may not be aware of because they're very insecure. They lack confidence in themselves. So they see everything as a threat. Which is why there are so many things that they hate. There are so many things that they cannot stand. Things that may seem of little importance to you. To them it's such a big deal. They turn molehills into mountains. They make a slight difficulty seem like a serious problem. Which may then affect how you begin to see things. You may start to attribute importance to things that are not worthy of your attention. Because you have been trained to value the same things as the narcissist. Things that are irrelevant to most people. But important to the narcissist. The narcissist gradually trains their targets to be just like them. While they gradually mold themselves into becoming more like you. But then they point the finger at you and claim that you are fake, you are the imposter, when they're the ones who stole your identity and they did everything to make you angry and bitter just like they always were, while they take on your calm, cool and collected personality. Because if you look back, you will remember how you never used to be bothered about things. They were the ones who were always on edge. They were always worrying about something. But once you spent enough time with a narcissist, you eventually become just like them. You become short-fused. You become irritable. Because they're training you to become just like them. They're grooming you into adopting their characteristic traits. When really, they're the ones who are always angry. They're the ones who can never be happy about anything. 
Because there are so many things that the narcissist cannot stand. There are so many things that they cannot tolerate. Worst of all, they cannot tolerate themselves. They are shame-based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. So they have to coordinate the external world in a way where they can avoid seeing themselves as they actually are and instead live in a fantasy world with other extensions of their false self. Or by projecting everything they hear about themselves onto other people. But things naturally occur in life where the narcissist has to confront situations that they do not like. Things that are not compatible with their false self. Or people who are not willing to carry their negative attributes or emotional baggage. The narcissist needs to arrange everything to their liking so that they can live in this eternal daydream where they can be whatever they want to be where no one can question their false reality but there are three things they cannot stand three things that pull them out of their fake world One, when they feel like someone is stealing the show, when someone else attracts more attention and praise, when they feel like someone is taking their spotlight, the narcissist cannot give them the praise that they deserve. They will become bitter and resentful towards them. They will undermine them. They will target their self-esteem. They will try to change the way that people perceive them. They will do anything to bring that person down to their level. They especially hate it if someone steals your attention away from them. They want all of your attention and they get very jealous when they see someone else receiving it from you. They feel entitled to all of your time and attention. And they think that anyone else is just not deserving of it. Or they will try to make you think that you are not deserving of anyone else. As though they are the only ones who will tolerate you. This is designed to isolate you. So that they can further control you. They hate anyone who has the spotlight. Anyone who has the ability to take risks. Anyone who is confident and courageous. Because they want that. And they see it as though they are more deserving of it. Or as though you stole it from them. Because they're very arrogant and entitled. They crave attention and praise. So if you steal the spotlight from the narcissist. They will envy you. And they will plot to destroy you. Because in their minds, only they deserve it. Only they have a right to it. Two, when they can't get a reaction out of you. The narcissist cannot stand it when they can't get a reaction out of you. They always have to win. They have to have the last laugh. So they want you to fail. They want you to be miserable. It gives them satisfaction. It makes them feel better about themselves. But when you move on and become a better person, it makes them really angry. They hate it when you ignore them. They hate it when you try to do better with your life.
There's nothing they hate more than losing control. They're very envious and jealous. They use people to regulate their self-esteem. And if they cannot control you, they cannot control their own emotions. Even if you go no contact, they will still be watching to see if you have moved on. They will want to see if you are still hurting or if you have managed to overcome everything that they put you through. It gives them great satisfaction to know if you are still suffering. It makes them feel better about their own lives. But if you've moved on and you're doing good, it makes them really angry. Free. When people don't validate their false self, when people don't validate their illusions, when they don't go along with their false narrative, when they don't agree with their proposals or ideas, They see it as rejection. They cannot take no for an answer. That is an offence to the narcissist. It causes a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. Because in their minds it's unfair. They believe that they have a right to whatever they want just because they want it. So if you deny them of anything, something must be wrong with you. You are trying to make their lives difficult or inconvenient. So now you must pay the price. You deserve to be punished. Because in their minds, you have no right to tell them no. But if you do, they will show you every reason why you are wrong. Why you are beneath them and why they are superior to you. As though they are greater than anything that you have to offer. As though they're better than you. When you say no to a narcissist, it puts a boundary between you and them. And they do not like that. They want enmeshment. They want to make boundaries for you. So that they can place you within certain limits. And keep you under their control. But they do not want you to have any boundaries for yourself. They need to have access to their supply at all times. They need to be able to have and do whatever they want, whenever they want. They cannot understand the concept that they cannot always get what they want. Healthy people have boundaries, they have limitations. But the narcissist is self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They don't care about how their behavior affects you. They don't respect you. All they care about is what they want. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, 
share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.